Hi, this is Bob from Test Prep Tutorials. Today I'm doing a video on exam 77882 Excel 2010 core. In this video, I want to talk about the modules of module 1, managing the worksheet environment with 1-1, one -one, navigating through a worksheet using hotkeys and name box. So let's practice. The first thing I want to explain is about sheets, about sheets. Now down at the bottom you can see that I have three sheets. I can go from one sheet to the next by coming down to the sheet and clicking on it. So I can go from sheet one to sheet two, from sheet two to sheet three, or from sheet three to sheet one. So you can navigate through your sheets by clicking on them. I want to explain though, that you can also navigate through the sheets using the keyboard. If you hold down the control key and hit page down, it will take you to the next sheet, to the sheet on the right. If I do control page down again, Again, it takes me to the next sheet. So how do you think I would go to the previous sheet? Control page up. Control page up. So control page down takes me to the next sheet or the sheet on the right. And control page up takes me to the previous sheet or the sheet on the left. Second thing, I want to point out that your mouse can also move you from one cell to the next. The active cell is in A1. You can tell that it is the active cell because it is the only one with this dark border surrounding it. If I move to another cell and click, I automatically make that cell the active cell. So cell B4 is now the active cell. If I go to another cell and click, then I make that cell active. I also want to point out that I usually like to go right in the middle of the cell instead of on like the edges. I don't like to click the edge of the cell here or here. If I want to go to the cell, I click in the middle of the cell. So I will click here. And now cell C4 is active. Now a keyboard techniques of moving the cursor is the enter key. Notice when I hit enter, I go down to the next cell. Every time you hit enter, you will go down to the next cell. Now, how does that help me? Let me click back on A1. And now I will type in some names. Maybe these are students in a class. So I'll type the word students and hit enter. And I can type in Bob and Mary and uh, George and uh, Harry and Fred and Wilma. So you can see that all I'm doing is I'm typing enter, typing enter. I don't have to use the mouse at all. I can just type and hit enter. Enter will always take me down. Now, there's another key on the keyboard that I use a lot, and it is called the tab key, T-A-B. It's on the left side of the keyboard, right above the caps lock. Tab takes me to the right. As you can see, I'm hitting tab, and I'm going to the cell to the right. Now, you're thinking, well, how can I use this? Well, I like to use it for two purposes. One, I'm clicking up here to the right of students, and I want to fill this with column headings. So I'll enter, this was January sales, tab, February sales, tab, March sales, tab, quarter one totals. And then I'll hit enter. So what's great about that is tab just allows me to feel things going to the right. Now, I can do that with information uh, for a row. For example, let's say I want to enter the cells 
for Bob. I am not going to enter the quarter one total because that will be a calculation. But let's say I want to enter the sales for Bob. I can click on the first cell where the actual value will be placed and I could type in my sales. Let's say Bob made uh, 2500 Now, if I hit enter, I'll be going down. Instead, I'll hit my tab key and I'll go to the right. So there's my 2500 I'll say here I got 2100 tab, and then 2700 and then enter. So tab is an awesome key. Now, I do want to point out that if you like the enter key more than the tab key, you could take your mouse and highlight the region. Because now, when you hit enter, you would be going only in that region. So for Mary, Mary made uh, 2750, enter. Mary made 22, uh, 25, enter and 2650 enter so as long as the cell is highlighted hitting enter will actually keep me in that list i could use my arrow keys so if i hit my down arrow key every time i hit my down arrow it takes me down to the next cell i can use up arrow right arrow or left arrow I use the arrow keys a lot. So when I want to go to a different cell, I have many ways of doing it. Like if I need to go to cell B4, I can enter, 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 tab. And I'm on B4. If I want to go to B4, I can do right arrow, down arrow, down arrow, down arrow. Or I can do down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, right arrow. Or I can take my mouse and click on B4. So there are many ways to get to a different cell. I do want to point out also that there's a really cool way of knowing what cell you are in. If you look at this first column letter, right above that letter shows me the cell I'm in. And as you can see, when I hover over that, this section of your screen right here, is called a name box. So if I click on the word Wilma, you can see that Wilma is in cell A7. Now, yes, I could look at the column letter and say, oh, yes, that is A, and the row number and say, yes, that's 7. So this is definitely A7. But I can see it right up here. The name box also to go to a different cell. I can click in the name box and I'll type in E1 and hit enter, and it jumps over to cell E1. What's great about this is that I can go anywhere in the entire spreadsheet. I can click on the name box and type in WD40 and hit enter, and I am in column WD, row 40. So, going to the name box and typing your cell reference in and hitting enter will take you to that cell. Now, what if I need to go back to A1? There are lots of methods. I could hit the arrow keys and go all the way up and to the left to cell A1. Or, I could come up here and click here and type A1 and hit enter, and that will always take me back to A1. I'm going to go back to WD40 and hit enter, but there's an awesome keyboard shortcut to get me back to cell A1. It's called Control Home. Hold on the Control key, hit Home, and you're immediately taken back to A1, or otherwise known as the home cell. It doesn't matter where you are. Control home will always take you to A1. So let me click in the name box and type in um, IW692, hit enter, 
And yes, I am in column IW, row 692. And if I need to get back to cell A1, hold on the control key, hit home, and you are back. Now, I want to point out that if I'm working in a list of cells and I notice that what I want to do is to get back to the first column but staying on the same row. Control Home is not going to do this. I am on cell D3. Control Home takes me to A1. That's not what I'm after. What I want to see is after I hit this special key, I want to go to the column A of the exact same row. So if I hit home all by itself, you can see I'm on Mary or I'm on A3. Let's go to a cell long way from here. So I'm going to go to uh, WX5 uh, and hit enter. If you can look at the column headings, I am definitely in column WX and I am on row 5. So now I want to get back to A5. See? So I hit the home key. And the home key keeps me on the same row but puts me back in column A. One more way to navigate through your spreadsheet is using the go to box. Now I bring up the go to box using my function keys. So above your letters, you have a row of numbers, and above the row of numbers, you have function keys. If you hit the F5 function key, the F5 function key opens up this box. And you can see I've used it before because it has information in here. So I could easily just come down here to the reference, type a new reference, like maybe I want to go to E. W426, I type that in the reference, hit OK, and I am now on column EW, row 426. That was using the F5 key or the Go To key. Hit the F5 function key. I'll type a new reference. I'll type in um, uh, Z. A219, ZA219, and I could either click the OK or I can hit Enter. I prefer hitting Enter since my hands were already on the keyboard. And I am in column ZA, row 219. Now I can get back to A1 by using this method. I can hit the F5 function key and in the reference area type A1 and hit enter and I am taken back to cell A1. I hope this has helped you with understanding some keyboard shortcuts. So maybe opening up the internet, going to Google or to your favorite search engine and typing Excel keyboard shortcuts. And you will get a huge list of them. All right. Take care. See you in the next video.